distinguished Mr. Speaker, honorable members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin this by expressing on behalf of President Masoud Barzani our heartfelt gratitude to the British people and government. It is indeed an honor to be here today, standing before this esteemed audience. It is with great pleasure that I extend our warmest welcome to each of you to join us in celebrating Nowruz. To us, Nowruz is the Kurdish New Year. However, this holiday is also celebrated by many other nations across the globe. And so please let me wish them all a happy and meaningful Nowruz. As we gather to commemorate this important uh, cultural event, we are reminded of the richness and diversity and the importance of fostering understanding and unity among <laughs> nations. Therefore, your presence here today not only honors the Kurdish community, but also signifies a shared commitment to embracing the inclusivity across borders. To the people of Kurdistan across the world, Nowruz, the Kurdish New Year, marks the victory of the Kurdish people against oppression. Therefore, this important holiday is celebrated by us, not only as the beginning of a new year, but also as the victory of freedom over oppression. Thus, for us, Nowruz is not only a celebration, it is a testament to our eternal struggle and inspiration for us to press forward with unwavering determination until justice pre prevails. Unfortunately, our pursuit for freedom and peace has throughout history been challenged by others. Even as I stand here today before you, before you esteemed ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves confronting numerous challenges that threaten the very extensions of, the, of our successful experience in the Middle East. As re representatives of one of the oldest democracies on earth, the United Kingdom, you play a vital role in fostering understanding, dialogue, and cooperation. Your presence at this narrow celebration signifies solidarity and friendship. Let us embrace diversity, celebrate our shared humanity, and work toward, towards a world where all cultures are respected. Ladies and gentlemen, I am calling upon you for assistance. Our plea echoes across generations, transcending borders and ideologies. We face yet another wave of injustice and gross violations of, of our rights. With your support, we can indeed continue to live in Kurdistan, where there is a freedom and democracy, where coexistence does not need to be enforced by any laws because the people of Kurdistan have a natural instinct to live side by side, regardless of all differences. I come from a village of Barzan, along the shores of the Great Zab River. <coughs> in Barzan, we take enormous pride that historically, this village has been hum home to Christians and Jews, just as it is home of Muslims. The example of Barzan can be seen all across Kurdistan, where people live side by side as brothers and sisters, where et et ethnic racial or religious differences simply are of no significant significances. Honorable guests, with your support, we can allow Kurdistan to be an example for peace, justice, and coexistence for all, for the whole of Middle East, and Middle East that unfortunately continues to be troubled. Please give me a, the opportunity to once again thank you for your valuable time let me also wish the people of Kurdistan and all others who celebrate this holiday a happy Nowruz, or we say in Kurdish, Nowruzstan, Pirozve. Thank you very much.